This is the Savvy Investor Radio Show and Podcast with Mike Kinnett and Ryan Herbert of Prostatus Financial, now celebrating 20 years helping families build successful retirements and lasting family legacies. Mike is a financial planner and estate planning attorney with a master's degree in tax and four-time Amazon best-selling author. Ryan is a five-star wealth management award winner and top-ranked financial advisor by Forbes. Now, the Savvy Investor Radio Show and Podcast. Welcome in, Savvy Investors, to the Savvy Investor YouTube page. How are you? Uh, it is uh, Labor Day weekend, and uh, I, I know you guys are very passionate about folks and making sure that they work their entire lives and they don't get fooled again. Uh, and they have uh, a good plan. Is. They Welcome have a good to the, plan. The who doing another tour. And the who. <laughs> Uh, and having a plan for retirement. So let's get right into it. There was a, uh, a recent uh, study by the Pew Research Company that found one in five over 65 years old are still working. That is 11 million Americans, Mike Kinnett and Ryan Herbert. They're, 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 they're going back to work because they have to, not because they want to. You guys are all about, hey, if you guys want to go back to work uh, after you retire because you want to, that's great. But how do we get to that point? How do we get to that point where, you know, we saved We've done a great job of saving, but now we've set our affairs in a certain way where we have the freedom to go back to work if we want to. If not, well, we don't. I, I, I can say, and, and Ryan, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I am 100% positive that none of those 11 million people that were forced to go back to work ever sat down with us. Because I'm telling you right now, the only reason people go back to work from my perspective is because they love what they do and they miss it and they want to go back and enjoy it, not because they're forced to or have to. And, 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 and I think that's the difference between what, you know, we do for, for you guys and, and, and what a lot of the financial planners and, and insurance agents and advisors and stuff do. You know, for us, it's all about having a, a truly comprehensive plan so that you know exactly where your income's coming from. And, 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 and quite frankly, you know, making the decision, do you want to retain the risk of running out of money or do you want to transfer that risk? Mm. And, and the fact is, it's an option for you, right? It's, it's not like you have to, it's not like you have to keep the risk and it's not like you have to transfer the risk, but you need to know that you have a choice. And, and, and when you make that choice, you need to make the choice with the most information possible. And, and again, those 11 million people, you know, my heart goes out to them that they're being for, especially at this point in your life. I mean, yeah. th th they've worked so hard. They, they, they sacrificed so much. And, and because of a bad decision, because they didn't have the right advice givers in their life, because nobody sat down with them and said, look, here's how you're going to create income streams that you're never going to run out. Uh, nobody did that for them because otherwise they wouldn't be going back to work. We had, a, we had, we had actually a, a doctor, um, interesting conversation way back when she comes to me and her and her husband were making about $250,000, $300,000 a year, pretty consistent throughout their lives. And, and they had done a, a reasonable job of saving for retirement, but they had not done enough to save. Uh, they had not saved enough that they were going to be able to have $300,000 a year for the rest of their lives. And, and, you know, when I sat down and did the calculations, I'm figuring they were coming in at about 150, 175 after taxes, which mm -hmm. is, which is still pretty comfortable. And, and she said to me, um, you know, she was getting ready to inherit about a million dollars from her dad. And she said, I want to retire on a half a million dollars a year. And I said, okay, when are you retiring? And she told me it was about four or five years in, in, in the future. And I said, great. You need to save, and I, and I don't remember the exact number, but you need to save five hundred seventy-five thousand dollars a year for the next, you know, five years, so that you'll have enough money to have five hundred thousand dollars a year to retire. And the look on her face is, well, that's stupid. I don't even make that much. Yes, I agree. Why do you? So why do you think you need to have that much money to retire on? And and, and you know, the the problem is, is that these people that are are running short of money and being forced to go back to work. Nobody had that conversation with them. Nobody explained to them, here's how you allocate your assets to pay the least amount of taxes possible. Nobody showed them how to, to, to create income streams that were going to outlive. Nobody gave them that, any advice. I suspect if they went to some sort of advisor or planner or insurance agent, they sold them a product and said, hey, look, I can sell you whatever it happens to be. My managers at whatever box store I'm working at told me to sell you this. So I'm going to sell it to you. And it all sounds well and good until you know what? You run out of money and then, oh, I'm sorry about that. That's just the nature of the beast. And it's insane because we see it all the time. I mean, we see people come in all the time that have been given bad advice. Mm -hmm. And now we're trying to fix it after the fact. Yeah. And a lot of the times it really is that they go see an advisor and, you know, they, they show that advisor. Here's how much I'm making. Here's how much I'm saving. Here's how much I've saved. 
And that advisor just takes those details, puts it into a computer, and uses a Monte Carlo simulation, which is literally just the computer program rolling the dice, just as it sounds. And it's saying, based on if the stock market gets you a five, six, seven, eight, nine percent return every single year, here's how much money you can have in retirement. But it does not show them worst case scenario here's what's going to happen. It does mm -hmm. not show them, here's exactly where your income is going to come from in retirement. And here are the options that you have to create those income sources. When people come into to, to our office from either the, the, this podcast, this YouTube channel, and our, our radio show, and all the other things that, that Mike and I do um, for our clients and for our prospective clients, what makes us different is we are going to sit down and show you, here is what your retirement is going to be like day one of retirement, year one, year three, year five, year 10. And here's exactly where your income is currently going to come from. That extra money that you need to make up, here are two or three or four different strategies to create that income that you need in retirement. Here are the pros and cons to all these different strategies that you can use. You can use an annuity, you can use the stock market, you can use preferred stocks, you can use CDs or bonds or whatever it is. But here are the exact steps that you need to take to have that retirement that you want, to have that retirement that you've dreamed of. And essentially, once we put this plan in place, once we put all these things together, it is giving our clients the three bad day rule of knowing that based on this data, based on the information that, that Mike and I and, and their team have put together for me, if I have more than three bad days in a, in a row mm -hmm. at work, you guys I can out. quit. I, yeah. I can have the retirement th that I've wanted. I just had this conversation the other day with, with one of my existing clients. He just came to me and said, Ryan, I'm done. You know, I know we plan on my retirement being in uh, December of 2025, but things have just gotten too hectic. The policies they're putting in place are, are just too terrible. I can see this company is going down the drain and I don't want to be a part of it. I know we put this plan in place for December 2025, but what can we do right now to change that. And with just a few minor tweaks, because we're constantly meeting about these retirement plans, he was able to quit. He walked into his office the day after we had our conversation and said, that's it. I'm done. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I want to walk away. And he had that three bad day rule where he just had too many bad days in a row. And he was able to walk away. That is the, the, the sense of security, the sense of, you know, I know I can have this retirement that I've always dreamed of that our clients that we feel our clients get when they work with us. And if you want to have this conversation, if you want to get that feeling that I know my retirement is secure, that I can have three bad days in a row and walk away, I encourage you to click on the link in the description below to schedule an appointment with Mike, myself, and our team here. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as well. And, and, and Ryan, I mean, let's let's think about this for just a minute. You, you know, th these 11 million people that had to go back to work, they went back to work because either A, they didn't mm -hmm. seek advice or B, they got bad advice. Mm -hmm. But between those two approaches, they decided to absorb the risk themselves. They decided that they were a better steward with their money and making the decisions on how to not run out of money. So rather than getting advice on how to not run out of money, they clearly ran out of money because they're going back to work. And, and, and I know, I know annuities. I, I know they're, they're, a, they're horrible. Mike. They're, they're a dirty four letter word. I mean, everybody hates them. You Google annuities. The first thing that pops up is I hate annuities and you should too. And, 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 and you know what? There are, there are a bazillion reasons why you should hate annuities. I get it, but let's think about it for just a minute. We transfer the risk of our homes burning down, of something going wrong in the house. We transfer our risk to an insurance company. Heck, all of us want Social Security, which is basically a pension and an insurance company. A lot of us would love to have a pension. Well, those are frequently funded by insurance companies. If you own an automobile, you have insurance. If you have, if, for most of us, we want health insurance to transfer the risk of our illnesses to an insurance company, to transfer the risk of out-of-pocket payments for some of those prescription drugs, we transfer it to an insurance company. 
you probably had life insurance at some point in your, in your, in your life to make sure that if you died prematurely, your loved ones weren't left hanging, you know, hanging. So you transferred the risk of your death to an insurance company. Why is it all of a sudden that the ability to transfer your risk to an insurance company that says, I will never run out of money. Why is that all of a sudden a bad idea in so many people's minds? Now, again, it's not the right solution for everybody and it's not the right choice for everybody. But the fact is, I, 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 I'm going to challenge anybody out there to show me any other vehicle. Yes, CDs. CDs will do that as well. But any other vehicle that comes with a guarantee, and you, you know, you guys can see me. Air I'm quotes. doing my air quotes because it's guaranteed by the insurance company. Um, but what other investments out there guarantee that if you give them the right amount of money, they guarantee you, and if you're married, your spouse or significant other, what other companies, what other avenue, what other source – guarantees you never run out of money. And, and please click below, you know, click on the like, click on the, the follow, click on the link, but you can also reach out and tell me, Mike, you're full of that. You're, you're just full of BS. Here <laughs> is another, here's another avenue you can do that they will guarantee you not, not statistics, right? Cause statistics tell us whatever story we want to believe. Yes. We have lots of clients that take money out of the stock market every year, do not own an annuity, and they recognize the risk they're taking. We have people using preferred stocks and dividend-paying stocks. We have people that use rental properties, but you know what? None of those are guaranteed. If you're going to transfer the risk for your health, if you're going to transfer the risk for your house, if you're going to transfer the risk of your automobile, if you're going to transfer the risk of all those other things in your life, you certainly should consider transferring the risk of never running out of money, right? And, 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 and it does not make sense to minimally have that conversation because if you're not having that conversation, your alternative is being one of those 11 million people that had to go back to work. From my perspective, that's a bad decision on your part. Uh, you know, again, click on the link below, follow us, like us, and send me that information. I, I, I've searched high and dry and I've yet to find anybody come forward and say, here's a guaranteed income stream that you'll never outlive that doesn't involve insurance. And even in, even CDs, they're insured, which is why you are guaranteed never to run out of money. So please, please, please send me that information. If you're out there listening to us and watching us and you're thinking to yourself, Mike's full of crap, tell me what it is that you <laughs> invested in that guarantees you'll never run out of money because I would love to share it with all. Uh, you know, If you share that with me, Next podcast, next YouTube uh, uh, video that we do, we will share it with it everybody, and I'll even give you credit for it. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, again, click the link in the description below to schedule a complimentary personalized review. And as Mike said, if you've got that information, go ahead and do that that way, and that way he can get it, and you guys can, uh, can, can work that out from there. And who knows? Maybe we'll highlight you on the podcast uh, and YouTube uh, here in the near future. Don't forget to subscribe to to the YouTube channel. That's always uh, great. That way you can share it with your friends uh, and it just gets bigger. We help more people that way. The Savvy Investor podcast and YouTube page. Mike Ryan, thanks again for your time. Uh, as always, you guys always wrap things up. So the floor is yours. This is Ryan Herbert. Thank you so much for, for watching and following the Savvy Investor YouTube channel. And this is Mike Kinnett. Stay savvy. Advisory services offered through ProStatus Financial Advisors Group, a registered investment advisor, insurance licensed in Maryland. ProStatus Financial Advisors Group, LLC, is not licensed in all 50 states. To find out if ProStatus Financial Advisors Group is licensed in your state, please call 410-863-1040. ProStatus Group, LLC, is not affiliated with nor endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency and does not provide legal or tax advice. Annuity guarantees rely solely on the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuing insurance company. By contacting us, you may be provided with information about insurance and annuity products offered through representatives of ProStatus Financial Advisors Group.